Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to evaluate limits in calculus. So it is frequently the case that when you're given a limit, you can simply plug in the limit value into the function and see what you get. However, there are two types of problems that frequently occur. One is when the function is undefined at that point. You'll notice that if you plug in negative 1 into the denominator here, you get a 0. And so f of x will be undefined. The other problem is when x goes towards positive or negative infinity, which frequently results in infinity over infinity, an indeterminate form. And it's not clear what value that actually means. So we'll discuss two common tricks for how to evaluate limits with this sort of issue. So one of the tricks, if you've got a polynomial in the numerator and then the denominator, you can start by trying to factor them and see what you get. And here, the numerator conveniently factors into x plus 1 times x plus 2. And again, we are taking the limit as x goes to negative 1. Okay. But we can simply cancel out this x plus 1 factor that appears in the top and bottom. And what we're left with is the limit as x goes to negative 1 of x plus 2. Well, here, this function is continuous and defined at this point. So we can simply plug it in. Negative 1 plus 2 equals 1. Easy as that. OK, so let's take a look at this problem here, where we're asked to find the limit as x goes to infinity of x squared over e to the x. Well, we can't use factoring here, since this is a monomial and this is an exponential function. But there is an interesting theorem known as L'Hopital's rule, named after a French mathematician, L'Hopital, which states that if the numerator of a function goes towards positive or negative infinity, and the denominator of a function also goes towards positive or negative infinity, as you're looking at the limit, what you can do is take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom, and you'll get the same limit. So this is equivalent to the limit as x goes to positive infinity of the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom. We'll rewrite that. x goes to infinity 2x over e to the x. Well, here we have the same problem. If you pl plug in x equals infinity, you get positive infinity on the top and positive infinity on the bottom. Well, we can simply apply L'Hopital's rule again. And we get limit as x goes to infinity of 2 over e to the x. Well, here if we plug in the limit, what we get is 2 over infinity, which is simply 0. My name is Ryan Malloy. And we've just discussed how to evaluate limits in calculus.